Andre Walker, georgeunfiltered.com, sitting here with my Facebook friend, and uh, very, well, you're still up and coming, but you're doing great things. Callan Arvidson, I pronounced your right, last name right, okay. <laughs> also known as High Caliber, how are you? I'm great, I'm happy to be at Imagine. It's my first year playing the festival, but the third attending, so it's really cool to finally be a part of it. So how do you go from being part, uh, the person that's listening to the music to the person that's uh, putting the music out there for other people to hear? Um, I guess when I got into it, I knew that I really loved drum and bass, and it struck something like deep down that I knew I wanted to be a part of. And then the more I was around it, the more I realized this is really what I want to do and you know, grow into the artists that I'm seeing. I didn't just want to watch them or be a fan. I wanted to be one of them. So that's how I realized that. So now who are some of, and I've asked you this before in an email interview, has that list changed, your list of favorite artists? It's probably changed because I have so many that I look up to, but honestly Drum Sound and Baseline Smith were the ones I first got hooked on their podcast and I am lucky enough to be playing like a few hours before them on the same stage. Uh, Andy C is huge. He's one of the biggest playing all of the festivals, so he's one of the few in our industry to like break through and be at the same level as your house headliners or dubstep headliners so both of them are the ones i'm really looking up to right now do you have any special surprises for your fans or what do you have planned i do i have an ep i can't say that much but i have my first ep forthcoming and so i'm going to be able to drop a few of those tracks for the first time ever tomorrow so it'll be cool to see the reactions on those and then just some edits I've been making over existing tunes that I'm really excited to play out. Now, I'm glad you mentioned your EP because I was going to ask you if you were going to release one anytime soon uh, and what can you tell us about it? Um, I can tell you that it will be some heavy neuro stuff and then I'm also going more onto the liquid side which I usually don't touch but I've really gotten into that lately. Um, it'll be three or four tracks and still making some final touches on it, finishing that up. But that should be out in the next two months at the latest. And uh, where can we find it? Will it be on Spotify, iTunes? It should be, on, I know it's on Beatport for sure. It could be iTunes. Um, I can't say like labels or anything yet, but I'm really excited for that. I've been working nonstop for the past several months on it, so I'm really excited. So do you see any uh, collaborations in your future or, or have you worked with uh, anybody on any tracks that we may have heard? Um, I haven't on anything that's out at the moment. I've been working with some people in Atlanta, some fellow drum and bass people um, singing on one. So we'll see what happens with that. But as of now, the only stuff I have forthcoming is that EP. I did not know you could sing. Do you, I, could you hum a few bars for us? I wouldn't call myself a singer, but one night I wrote this awesome track and I was like, don't have the time to find a singer, don't have the funds to find one. So I was just like, the person I was working with, they were like, just go on and see if you can do it yourself. So I did and it was good. So we're still working on that one. We've been going back and forth on styles, mm -hmm. but we'll see what happens with that. So I, um, and I, I'm sure Bryson's gonna be watching this. I asked Bryson Taylor uh, earlier this weekend, what he preferred, CDs, vinyl, or USB? So same question to you. I actually use my laptop. Okay. I'm still, like, there's hate about it. I'm just really comfortable with that. So I'm working towards just doing USBs, but at the moment I'm just really comfortable with my laptop and using the software on there because it's easy to organize all your tracks that way. Okay. So now, um, so I, I'm assuming that you probably use a CDJ as well? I use CDJ sometimes, and I also use a controller sometimes, just okay. depending on what software is available at the said show and stuff like that. So I use whatever I'm comfortable on, honestly, is what I feel most confident playing with. So you, you, you were obviously at the first Imagine, the second one, this is the third one. Uh, what do you think about how the festival itself has grown in the past few years? I'm honestly so proud of Glenn and Maddie because they took it from just a small local show to last year being more of a regional show that people would drive in for to this year I'm sure several thousands of people flying in for and just the scale of getting to be on the Atlanta Motor Speedway is just awesome and they've done a fantastic job with it. So you're, you are obviously you're a fan. Um, 
what artists are you looking to see? Uh, if you weren't playing, what artists are you looking to see? Um, all of the drum and bass. They pulled so many great names for drum and bass. So Pendulum, Bad Company, Delta Heavy, Drum Sound and Bassline Smith, like I mentioned before. My friends Legion, who are also from Atlanta. I'm excited to see their set. And I'm really interested to see what the DJ Hansel thing's all about, not going to lie. So I'll probably be checking that out. Oh, that sounds great. So one last question. Yes. Again, you started at the bottom, and you've been working at this uh, for a long time. Uh, I know because I gave you your first interview. Yes, okay. <laughs> um, to the other artists that you know want to get to this point, what advice would you have for them? I would honestly just say stay true to what you set out to do. I've had offers for albums or management, but they all want me to switch to house. And I love house. I pretty much like any genre. I can get down to it. But drum and bass is where my heart is and I feel like if I switched I would have lost the drive that started me on this path so I would say just don't let people tell you what you should be doing do what you want to do and that's worked for me there was a spot like about a year ago where I tried to venture into house just because that's what people were wanting me to do and I'd almost lost it and then I saw some amazing sets and some shows I went to of drum and bass and it just really channeled me back in full force to what I set out to do. So we won't be seeing a a uh, high caliber trance set in any time in the future, will we? I mean, I can get down with anything. I love all the genres, but where I'm really putting all my time and effort is yeah. definitely drum and bass. So I'm really happy with how things are going right now. So where can we find you online, uh, on SoundCloud, Facebook, etc.? All of my socials are just at High Caliber, and that's Caliber, K-A-L-L-I-B-E-R.